it's hard because sometimes I'm like, well, what if I do it in another video? So like every time I pull up the bag, I'm going to be like, here's this again. Still haven't yeah, yeah. done that, which could be a joke or it could be like, okay, we get it. You're lazy. <laughs> I thought it might be fun to go through my pile of half finished upcycles, things that I maybe have pinned or I have an idea for and I put in a, an Ikea bag and if my eyes don't see it, it's gone. Like it's, I've got a, what's that object permanent? Yeah, object. <laughs> yeah. I thought I would just go through the bag because it will be a mystery to me as well. And then I'll pick out hopefully a couple things that I can fix pretty quickly <laughs> before our very eyes. and. Yeah, just maybe maybe it'll inspire you to go to your sewing room and pick out you know your your fix it pile, your repair pile, and repair along with me. I might put on other shoes. I've got these like loafers on. Sorry, this is all great stuff. Keep all of this in. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm a little shorter now. Here is a skirt that is a pleated skirt, and then it had these weird kind of oil marks on it or something, and I foolishly just thought, oh, those pleats are they're like, they're there, they're permanent. They'll never, wa you can't wash out a pleat, that's crazy. Yeah, so anyway, it's slop. <laughs> it's just like wrinkled, weird mess. Uh, so I could iron those pleats back in place, um, but that could take an hour right there. I feel like I would need like tape, like tape them down. Mm -hmm. So that's something, and this is just a personal thing. I'm just, uh, I'm annoyed at myself for washing that. That's what I get for doing laundry. <laughs> Here is a bralette I made from some shoulder pads. You can see the shoulder pad bralette uh, video somewhere on this channel. And I removed these appliques. They're like, is that like a, a, a lily? Uh, yeah, maybe a lily or a, I don't know if it's quite an They're iris. Also, kind of like, iris. A little bad. Shoulder. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> we can't have an episode where we don't say the word vaginal. That'd be crazy. <laughs> so I could hand sew these down. Maybe just kind of like at the edges there. Otherwise, the bra is done. I would just, I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't mm -hmm. know. So that, like this shirt, this red sweater, I just thought maybe some different buttons because the, the brown tortoiseshell ones are just a little, eh, little Dullsville. It's going to be loud. <laughs> like, have we talked about, like, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to have coal miners long. I'm going to have like, Lint, lint we've long. said lint long, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been trademarked. Instead of yeah, clown long it's... or <laughs> whatever. Did you say clown long? Yeah, drag queens get it. Oh, what does that mean? You get like because the powder makeup. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, oh man, it's... I know. <laughs> also, drag queens and clowns and <laughs> clowns, yeah. Um, but like that makes white me, powder. That makes me like think that. of um, Wizard of Oz because I had to pretty much fire the first guy. He's like, oh, the aluminum, the Tin Man aluminum powder you know and it got as long as he got really sick and so they're like and the next guy that was like that actor i can't i was like ray bulger or something uh bulger something like that anyway they had to do a cream tin man makeup because they're like whoop forget about that guy he's kind of scarred for life and oh my yeah. god anyway, here is a i kind of hate the word shacket it's a shirt jacket kind of thing sorry it's covered in, in bits but it is a cream twill Kind of work shirt it looks like it would be more jackety than it actually is it actually does sort of fit more like closely like a shirt i really like this it is like a newer piece it kind of has a vintage look to it i thought maybe it could be interesting to add i've got this like white and cream stripe i think it's probably a placemat or something i don't know like maybe some sort of not that big but like you know some sort of pocket or replace this i don't know is that something maybe i also have i like Maybe this is really basic of me. I love paint splatters on uh, like kind of, you know, workwear, denim or whatever, twill. And so maybe something with that kind of uh, paint, a painted pocket, you know, um, that, would be... that can be kind of cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this, but there's a possibility. I do have this spare um, blue and white striped. 
what's the sorry i'm always like what's the word that could be a whole um episode it's just like um Evan, how, do you, how do you say like i'm hilaria baldwin sorry um uh what is the word for um it's like what am i toot toot i'm a conductor that's a it. train conductor. <laughs> train conductor yeah i was like i think that's what you're doing yeah yeah i could replace the collar with this train conductor collar from this other shirt but that kind of seems like a whole thing Oh, actually, wait, this one doesn't have a collar band. I don't know if that would matter. Anyway, that could be something. Uh, and then there's some other denim scraps. As far as, it's really, this is a pocket-based <laughs> rework. I do have this a uh, little bit from a, it looks like white, like painter's pants, carpenter pants with some paint. You know, that could be another little, I mean, not so much for function, but just vibe. Um, I like this sort of French blue workwear scrap. I would love to have like a work work jacket out of this, but a little piece there. Anyway, so we got some some pocket possibilities there. All right. Those are just like, there's this like red set, like this camisole and these elastic waist pants I made a while back. And I'm not sure why they are in here. I think it's just, they got to go somewhere. I don't know. Everything is just like Ikea bags. This is a silk shirt that ties up the front. I thought it was really cool. Uh, just, you know, just for me to wear. Um. And I can't remember how the cuff was, but then I added elastic because I thought, oh, that'll make it like romantic. But I don't think it's full enough to give that vibe off. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of just this wimpy little thing. And it's almost like a little too tight. I was even thinking about, and of course I hate to like cut into silk, but I was like, maybe I'll cut off the sleeve. And because there's something about it just ending and being basic that just doesn't appeal to me. And so I was like, I guess I could cut it and do like a roll cuff and it's short sleeve. I think I'd be more likely to wear it. Mm -hmm. It's like, because I don't want to come off like, like fully puffy shirt Seinfeld. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. like such a fine line between like, oh, how chic and like ruffles and ties and whatever. And then just like, I don't know. Anyways, this is a Blazers t-shirt that <laughs> it's one of those like was black at one point. Now it's like, <laughs> it's like medium beige to do. To the, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The this is the coverall thing we want to do. We want to be this tattered. So we just have to pop it in a time machine um like 30 years this is james's james and has a lot of i obviously you know holes in the t-shirt are lovely but when they start to get under like the armpit they start to get out of control um also i guess like if you're a person with chest hair then it's like popping out you know like maybe that's not you know ideal yeah. i have this other of course it's so funny how blacks will fade in different shades or whatever so like mm -hmm. this one's like kind of more olive this one's more like looks more like blue or purple or something so i could have this fabric this sort of faded tank dress be like the patch i mean it might be glaring because it's a different colors but i could you know patch that up this i did patch it originally like i don't know if you can see anyway some little bits there so i would just have to do more of that or i could do one big patch that seems a little complicated so maybe not today on that I feel like people would kill for that shirt. I know. I love that shirt. I know. It's like, obviously, you get them another one, or I'm like, I could commandeer that for myself. Although, I'm afraid someone would be like, oh, really? Like, who's your favorite yeah, person oh on God. that team? <laughs> you know, Heaven like. Heaven forbid you wear something and don't know everything about yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, gatekeepers. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, I guess, mesh. Yeah. Would we say mesh? <laughs> Sorry. Um, kind of shirt. And I do, like, I love this. Uh, the, the little nebbiness, the different mm -hmm. colors and everything. Obviously, this could be just as is. It could be cute. But I thought since it has these perfect little squares, it might be hard to tell, but it has these perfect little grid of squares. I thought it could be interesting to get different colors of yarn. It's almost like the talisman upside. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it, it might not be um, weighty enough to put a bunch of like pins and buttons and stuff because it might sag. But I thought maybe getting yarn and like feeding it through and almost doing like a like it's a loom or like a, a weaving mm -hmm. thing and kind of run them up and down or whatever i don't know it that could be, be really cool. it could be really cute it's one of those things like it's like in my mind it's gorgeous in reality it might be like that's not gorgeous <laughs> or i'd have to make sure i get the right colors the right yeah types of textures i don't well, like different types of textures too, yeah and like yeah. should i leave a space in between because it's going to be so thick and then it again, basically would, it would be turning it into a sweater yeah, and I was thinking about just doing one patch. I mean, obviously, you could do it all over, and that'd be insane and kind of cool. But maybe even just, like, the one like one patch or something, just to kind of, I don't know. That um, might be its own video. Yeah, that's, it sounds like a whole video. Honestly. <laughs> Here is a blazer 
I kind of I love like a long blazer jacket and it's kind of um matrixy. This well I I don't know if I'd try it on or not, but basically I I sewed I hand sewed two black like they're not shoulder pads, they're like true like bra insert cup things. Mm -hmm. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to have this like I don't know why, I just thought it was really cool. Um an alien and matrixy and whatever. I don't know if it's you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is if you don't have it fully buttoned. Like that, like it looks so it cool. But if just... otherwise, like, you know, <laughs> they're floating. Uh, it's a little wall eyed. So <laughs> I think I'm going to remove those cups. And I don't know. Anyways, at least then I'd have just the jacket and I could sew the, the glove applique or, or something. Or just wear it as is because it's really cute. That seems pretty easy. Mm, yeah, some of these are just like bits. <laughs> or just like, here's a, a rhinestone collar. Um, it's just kind of pinned weird, but it's basically like, I don't know, someday it'll be kind of fun. Cute. I don't know. Um, yeah, like some of these I'm like, it's not really a, don't have a plan. That might be about it, but I think that's a that's good start. Good. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I just can't remember. With this top, since it's so open, open necked, I don't think that it's really important that the buttons close as a closure. So I think I could like get buttons that are a little bit bigger and it wouldn't be a problem because I could just sort of almost like sew it shut or it wouldn't matter. So, cause I'm, here's my, <laughs> here's my oh, theory or whatever about buttons is you never have the right size or number mm -hmm. of them. I like collect them. I mean, not like in a crazy way. I literally just have like a little like box, you know, with different sizes and colors and I'm thrifting or at a you know craft spot like scrap i will like oh let me find some interesting ones and i try to find the shapes that i'm like oh yeah uh, this is the kind of shape I'll, or this the shape the size i'll need like an inch or three inch or whatever and somehow they're all useless i'll be like mm -hmm. oh hey i just need one that's this it's like a basic shirt button it's fine. and it's like nothing mm -hmm. or it's ugly or oh i need three and like, i have two mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. so that yeah anyway <laughs> it's my Murphy's Law of Button Collections for like, anyway, uh, that's a predic predicament I'm always in. It's like somehow all these gorgeous buttons, I'm like, should I actually be doing the opposite, like thrifting items that require that size taking button? <laughs> takes over my yeah. life. I have like a hundred garments that are just like, like I need to take the buttons yeah, off. Yeah, I take the buttons, the buttons on the buttons on <laughs> Yeah. It's just like the Mad Hatter, but with buttons. Yeah, exactly. I go with the, here's the before with the brown tortoiseshell buttons. Here are the two options, wood buttons, and these look like metal spirals, but they're actually plastic spirals, sort of squarish, and they've been painted a bit white, and I, I don't know, kind of fun, because they're vintage shank buttons. So we'll see which one works best. Here's the final look on this one. I love these buttons, and I love the sort of weird vintage-y, I don't know why I'm thinking like Devo, you know, maybe there's a little flower pot hat, yeah, yeah. anyway, so there you go. And that's why some of this stuff, I'm like, can you see? I'm like, anyway. But yeah, see, you like, can see. You can see when see. it's buttoned? Yes, yeah, it's like, cute. It's like, I feel so powerful. And when it's not, yeah, it, it's looks, just, so... it looks bizarre. <laughs> um, not to say my boobs don't do this already, but we don't need to exacerbate yeah, that, yeah. you know? We, need to, we don't need to draw attention to that. So. It would only work if, like, it was, this was meant to be worn closed. Or, yeah, if it was something yeah. that, like, yeah, just you had to wear it closed kind of thing. Which, I mean, it is practically a dress. Well, there's a back net. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I have to, I can't commit to, a, right. like, unless it's, like, the dead of winter. And even then, no. And now I'm going to just pick those stitches. Luckily, it's pretty easy. I just, here's, here's what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if you can. I always do this. Sorry. <laughs> like, take time. Like, okay, I don't know if it does. Luckily, I made the stitches huge, so this shouldn't take too long. I'm afraid there's going to be like not like exactly sun fading, but kind of, you know, sun, or like just bits of grit and grime. I don't sun know. Where <laughs> we like, we want it desperately. We want sun fading, but only in certain only on certain only like coveralls, yeah, <laughs> t-shirts and stuff. Very specific item. That's got to be a business somewhere where someone's like. I mean, that that sounds almost like a little too early 2000s in a way for some reason, but like, hey, give us your, you know, your Chuck Taylors, your, you know, your coveralls, your t-shirt, whatever, you know, you want faded. We'll make them look aged. And like, 
but even i think it'd be funnier if it was like give us a year <laughs> like we'll wear it hard we'll do we'll do five years of living in one year something i don't know whatever or you just outsource it maybe that could be a task rabbit like just wear these coveralls for a day year. for a year I'm not saying there's, you know, obviously there's something a bit ridiculous to this because in one way like, we're like, we're repairing things, we're all this stuff and that's sort of like, we're destroying things. But I mean, that's obviously, you know, um, I mean, obviously when I buy, you know, coveralls, I'm like, I want them to be sun faded and covered in paint and stuff. And do I want to do all that work? Like, well, kind of a hassle. All right. Here are the cups. Going to save those for a shoulder pad bralette. There you go. Yeah. I don't think it all the threads, but I mean, it's a cute blazer. I'm like, I need an apple box. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, it goes, sorry, it's like the way we've set this up today. Like we don't have like the full view um, and I'm not going to hop on the table or <laughs> actually I do have like a little step. Is that anything or is that worth it? Try it. Okay. I found an apple box. To stand on. I mean, it's kind of weird, but here's an upside glide. Day. <laughs> it's back to normal. Uh, I like that. I might still do some, some work on it, but. I mean, it's a nice. Yeah, it's just like, I love blazer like coat long, situation. Yeah, I love long blazer. Yeah, I wish I could remember what this the the cuff was really like. Like I feel like there's it might have been like a another piece of fat, you know, like a, almost like a shirt cuff. I cannot remember. Yeah, this is just very like peasant blouse. Yeah, and it's like that can have a time and place. I just don't know if it's if it's me. I'm trying to think if I. I want to see. Let me see what. It, looks like but I'm like should I crop it that might be another another project another day but I think if this sleeve were different I would yeah it's just like a little tight and like I said if it were like a big billowy sleeve then at least then it would be something but it's kind of just like yeah it's very blah I mean, yeah so I added I added this thinking oh maybe there's enough to oh, but there's not right so I'm like doing the catalog kind of <laughs> and not really affect the back too much but yeah I'm like what is that here Sorry, I just don't feel like trying it on again. I'm like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I guess yeah. everything. Yeah. I think if I cut there, that'll be plenty. Because worst case, I'd just double fold, which would be fine. Um, yeah, I think I'll just kind of do it somewhere here. I'm trying to be like, just relax, it's fine. <laughs> just, you have to measure it. Okay. Um, yeah, just in case. Like, give me a little extra room just in case. It's probably too long, but yeah. Fill it out. And I will probably do a little hand stitch just maybe maximum four, but maybe just like even three, just to kind of keep it in place so it's not like, because it's so silky, it'll just flop down. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there are any trousers I have that I don't have a roll cuff edge on, because there's something about like that area of outfits I'm always like, and maybe it's just also because I'm short, I'm kind of already roll rolling every pant, but like, it just makes it more like, I like a little slouchy casual kind of thing. I mean, maybe that's not like, I have almost no concept about what's like in right now you know what i mean so i'm just like well that, that's what works for me that's my wheelhouse i'm just hoping to live my life like stylistically like a like a fran Leibowitz or whatever where like the decades are going styles are changing but i'm always just kind of in my like yeah. set thing and then like oh but it's actually cool because it's just that's just her that's her thing a roll cuff to be fran Leibowitz. i just want to be fran drescher oh yeah i'm not good at it I never have been. Me and I know this about it's myself. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm like the opposite of like an Olympian. Where, yeah. or, or you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of weirdly like good right at the beginning of like bowling or whatever. If yes. I'm not thinking about it, as soon as I start to really think about, because I'm like, just relax. It's fine. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a birthday party. It's a whatever. You know, as soon as I start getting competitive, though, I'm like, crap. And I hate that about Same. myself. When I was in middle school, I played volleyball all three years, but we weren't rich enough to pay, play like club volleyball and of course if you didn't play club volleyball your whole life then you were crap and mm. you know you know that thing of like sports are for the elite yeah um and I definitely was like aware of the disadvantage that I had in like high school when I was like okay I'm gonna try out for the high school team but you know I'm gonna go to any free conditioning camp I can like I'm oh gonna wow try yeah and I went to my first day of conditioning camp I got in the car after my first day and I went, 
Mom, I'm quitting volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, it's just one of those, uh, the, yeah, the de- deck is stacked. Like, I was like, I think, you, you know, I think you really have to care. <laughs> and I just don't. Yeah, yeah. No. She totally. was like, oh, okay. What? So I was Fair. like, okay. That was me with, I'm trying to think of all the things I quit. Um, <laughs> like <laughs> ballet, uh, six years of that, which, I mean, you know, at a certain point, I'm just like, well, I'm not the right size and shape and whatever. I mean, mm-hmm. such as it right is, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. Um, just the whole lifestyle. was like, yeah. and I'm not like, oh, I, I'm so good. It was, it was, I was this close to being in an American ballet company. Anyway, so, um. Or if it just got too hard or intense, like, okay, now you have to be here four times a week. You're like, oh, like, oh no. Jesus. Oh, no. Um, yeah. That, let's see. I took clogging, like mountain clogging, because oh I'm up. from Mountain View, Arkansas. So, folk music capital of the world. So, clogging for two <laughs> years. And uh, I think that was just sort of like, okay, we had fun, but yeah, let's yeah. move on. Um, and let's see. basketball for two years i mean that was just because my grandpa was a basketball coach and (laughs) i was like you're doing this for a while like okay wait i never scored a point i'm bad um i'm trying to think guitar i was like really want to learn guitar but the same thing like i'd be so good if it weren't for like all the guitar like all the the my fingers hurt you know (laughs) like i'm a little baby um never learned to ride a bike so that's kind of just straight out the gate never that's a a quitting before you even start as a pre-quitting um, so I still you don't know. I've never learned how to ride a bike. I haven't ridden one in literally years. Um, if anyone has any tips, I feel like if to this day, obviously I feel like an idiot that I don't, especially in such a biking sort of town. But I do think, and this is not, it sounds like a joke. I think if I did try to do it now, like learn, because anytime I got close to it, I would just fall off and like sprain my ankle and it was awful. You were like, I think, stupid. yeah, I was like, fuck this. Um, I think I would need training wheels. This again, haha, it sounds like a joke. I think I would need that balance. I think yeah. I would need like adult training wheels to just like get the of uh, the vi- the feel of it or whatever. And then yeah, go from there. Jake get the is confidence. Just, like running behind you, holding. You yeah, yeah, you got it, buddy. <laughs> and he's like, I let go half a mile or whatever. You, it's just you. <laughs> I guess I did try it on when I was had it on, but I'm just gonna put on the hanger. Sorry, it's hot. I really like this. It looks more casual, less like piratey <laughs> with the long <laughs> sleeves. So I think that was the main reason I wasn't really wearing it. So now it just, I don't know, it looks a little more just like 90s. I'm going to a coffee shop. So I just did that little roll sleeve there. And I'm not sure if I'll crop it because it might be cute to tuck that into the pants or something. But yeah, now I might actually wear it. I think I have it on record that like animation. Is like not your jam. Yeah, just like yeah. certain like Pixar. I know that's like beloved, and I'm gonna be cast out of society. But um, it just seems I'm not half our subscribers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that Are I you like. a fan of claymation? Um, I'm not. Not. I don't know. I'm trying to think. What's an example? Like Gumby. <laughs> I don't know. What's a or like like a Leica production like or something like Gromit or a Leica production. I don't seek it out, but um, I'm not like oh boy. I've, I'm. I grew on up board. with Wallace and Gromit. Okay. That's what I agree um, Yeah. And again, this is, everyone's got their own thing that they're just like, you know, not for me or, yeah. or it's not on my radar yeah, yeah. or whatever. Um, yeah. So. I also grew up on uh, Long Ago and Far Away. That, uh, What's that? It was like this, okay, oh. I can't remember. Did Shelley Duvall host Fairytale Theater? Yes. Okay. Then Long Ago and Far Away was hosted by James Earl Jones. Okay. And it was like this Sounds familiar. PBS program on tv that for me was just recorded on vhs that my mom would like <laughs> yeah and so i just watched. you're like there's an episode of seinfeld and then that <laughs> and then... <laughs> i always knew the commercial that was like gonna play right oh, before oh my god especially like, if it's sorry when they even like cut off or cut yeah, you know yeah. you're just like i don't know just even that like that 100%. it's only half a commercial or something i don't know it's like the last 30 seconds of a weird ad of a ragu ad or something <laughs> um Kind of like start of the VHS that was like kind of out of tune. Oh yeah, brr, brr, and like just warbles. Yeah. Um, I grew up on that. I grew up on fairy tale theater, and oh, I grew yeah. up on uh this VHS recorded version of a play of Peter Pan that was played by a woman. <laughs> Mary Martin. Maybe yes. Okay, because I, so. I can't remember what era that would have been. If it would have been like sixties. I mean, it was pretty old. Yeah. But that was my childhood. Yeah. And I'm 26. How weird is that? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this sounds like my childhood. I would record, like, <laughs> SNL episodes and just, like, memorize them. And All my friends them. are like, remember Disney Channel when we were little? And I'm like, remember no. Ha- remember <laughs> Hilary Duff and stuff? And you're like, who? Oh. 
here is the shoulder pad bralette. I don't know if I really showed you them before, but it was basically shoulder pads. They were white. <laughs> I already had it pinned in place, so I wasn't gonna like unpin it. <laughs> so I just did a few little hand stitches on the edges of the flowers. And oh, that's kind of fun. I'm so excited. We did four reworks in one. Well, one re well, three re reworks and one unwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to get four things off of my fix it pile. We're gonna have to make this like a regular occurrence. Um, I had a blast. Now go on, you good thing. Four reworks. Four, count them four. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you can tell I'm getting I'm getting to the end of the bowling. The, the I'm getting loopy. I'm getting the yip. Water, water. Flush my hair. Do a triangle. <laughs> Same with like we were talking about the pressure kind of thing with sports. I think it's also the pressure of like, we're so close to being done and then I take 50 takes. So let's talk no, about like, fine. I change the buttons. <laughs> I'm not sure which ones will end up working out. They're a little bit bigger than the other buttons, but I've got these wooden buttons. Button, 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 sorry. <laughs> I thought it might be fun to go through my fix it pile of half finished, half finished. <laughs> I'll do it again. 